collectors, according to a Consumer Reports survey, is the high cost of ink. So there was a lot of buzz when Epson announced its EcoTank printer, which promises to save on ink. Consumer Reports has just completed testing this new style of printer. At $400, the new Epsom Eco Tank printer is far more expensive than most, but the company says its refillable tanks will save you from the high cost of ink cartridges. Is it worth dirtying your hands? We put the Eco Tank through the same tests our other printers face to determine how much it really costs for you to own. Those tests are based on the average amount of printing people do in a month, according to a Consumer Reports survey. That's 23 pages of text, 9 pages of graphics, and about 9 photos. At the end of two years, the total cost of the printer and ink is $400 for the Epsom Eco Tank, but only $325 for this $200 HP OfficeJet Pro or this $150 Canon Maxify. So should you forget the Epson Eco Tank? If you do a lot of printing and plan to keep this printer for a while, it could save you money in the long run. Things do look much different after five years. The total cost of the Eco Tank is $448, the HP OfficeJet Pro is $588, and the Canon Maxify $692. If you don't print a lot, it makes more sense to buy the printer that's cheaper up front. Both the HP and Canon printers are Consumer Reports' best buys. The HP is fast at printing quality black text. The Canon is very good option for printing photos. Another option is Consumer Reports' top-rated printer, the $100 Epson Expression Premium XP620. It prints excellent quality photos. It will cost the average person about $14 a month in ink. Well, now